boys and girls, it's snack time with Leprechaun Jeff. Hope everyone's doing great. I hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend. The weather is beautiful. I enjoyed being outside. We probably did a lot of snacking and eating over the past weekend. So I'm here today to give you some healthy snacks for this week. Uh, before I do that, just a little trivia note for you. We are now 95 days away from the kickoff of the football season. And by all reports, we are heads up on a football season happening in early September. So go Irish! So, I've got some snacks here for you today, some fun snacks. This is getting to be a favorite day in the Marasco family. Even my neighbor Gary Hubbard is over here looking at my snacks. So, um, they love watching me prepare this stuff. They say, wow, Dad, you're such a great cook. I love the foods that you are coming up with. You should do this more often. So, I'm going to share my snacks with you today. Remember that before you eat any snacks and before you prepare any food, make sure we're washing our hands, making sure our hands are clean. We don't want any bacteria or germs or dirt um, to go onto our food. Um, our snacks today, um, again, you can prepare these any way you want in any combinations. Uh, so just go ahead and have fun with it. Make sure if you're cutting any fruit or you're um, doing any type of um, cooking or slicing that you have an adult with you or an older brother and sister. Uh, we're going to start with Cat in the Hat. This was called Cat in the Hat. Um, I took a long toothpick and I put strawberries and bananas and a green grape at the top. And this is called Cat in the Hat. Our second appetizer today, getting away from the fruit, is I took a pretzel, stuck it through some ham, and I put Swiss cheese. So this is more of a protein and dairy and grains snack. Going back to a fruit snack, we call this the fruit kebab. My wife last week made a delicious steak kebab on dinner for us. Um, so I said, well, why don't we do the same thing with some fruit? So I took some fruit, put it on a long stick, and you could put it in any combination, any types of fruit. I didn't have any cherries, but I would have probably put some cherries on it. I've got in this one, I've got some kiwi, some watermelon, some blueberries, grapes, strawberry, some cantaloupe, and some uh, green melon. Green melon's not my favorite, but I know that uh, many of you will like that one. As you can tell, I put these in different combinations, so have fun with it. Um, that's the fruit kebab. Going back to our protein and grains and dairy, I call this the cracker sandwich. And on my cracker sandwiches, I've got some crackers, some cheese, and I use turkey. Um, you could put some ham, you could put bologna, you could put salami, whatever types of meat that you want. Um, it's actually kind of good for us to eat this type of sandwich as opposed to a traditional sandwich. If we eat too much bread, especially that white bread, um, that's not particularly the greatest bread for us. Um, so if we can limit how much bread we take, we obviously want to eat some grains, but um, just to add some variety to your menu. And then my favorite for the week is this is called a fruit cup. What I did is I took a banana. I'm sorry, this would be an apple. I took this apple, um, I cut out the inside, and I stuffed it with fruit. I put some kiwi in there, some blueberries, strawberries, some melon, and I topped it off with some cinnamon teddy bears. So there are five healthy snacks for this upcoming week. Um, also, make sure that you're washing it down. I have here a banana and mango smoothie. Mm. Well, that's it, friends. I will see you next week with snacks with Leprechaun Jeff. And remember, have a great week and go Irish.